Kirby the Terrier is, well, a terror. Need proof? Ring the doorbell. He also bit our cameraman. And he's bitten both of my neighbors. Carla Sonicson has her hands full. He's unpredictable in terms of a lot of things, so he's uh, been hard for me to keep. He was trouble when she got him, but Carla took him to obedience lessons where he became a good dog. Okay, sit. Sit. Good dog. Stay. However, he returned to his wicked ways when a new baby came into the home. And I think with the addition of my daughter in the home, he was relegated to the pack and not um, so high up on the food chain, so to speak. And my daughter took precedence and he's felt that. So what's a dog to do? Deal with it, says Kirby's worst nightmare. I was probably born with, I'm probably part dog. This is Jody McCullough, pack leader, dog whisperer, and owner trainer. They love their dogs too much, and that's what gets this imbalance, because dogs need structure and balance, and they need discipline. Exercise first, discipline second, and then right. affection. Hey, Kirby. And that's what Kirby wants first, as he demands McCullough chase him around the house. So what he's doing then is he's demanding that you give him attention right now. Yeah. Absolutely not. Okay. Last time I checked, he didn't pay the mortgage. You did. Good. So that means that you tell him when it's time to play, you tell him when it's time to do anything, basically. His barking... I can tell right now it's all fear-based, it's insecure. Where do they sleep during the day? McCullough says dogs need a den. He should be in a crate when Carla isn't at home and at night. This is too big. Okay. Automatically what happens is... Um, and the bathroom. And the bathroom. So imagine this little dog, both these little dogs have to, as soon as they're in a big home like this, they think automatically they have to protect it. If you're not here, even if you're here, they're dominant, they need to protect the home. It's too much responsibility on a little soul like that. Now the leader deals with a barking issue. She uses t -t -t as a command. She imposes her energy to get him to do what she wants. I allow my dogs to bark when people come to the door, but they bark at the top of the stairs. They bark three to four times, enough, and then they go. Okay. Kirby no. is not doing well, so McCullough like forces him into submission, he's pinning he the terrier like a pack anymore. leader so would do submit. to a disobedient dog in the wild. He's stiff. <laughs> the second time so he's pinned, Kirby right. acts out. Again, a tantrum he's ensues the third time. A dog can't know, relax, bad energy. A dog can't know he can't bite unless he's allowed to bite. McCullough suggests Carla do this 10 times a day until like Kirby learns respect and allows him to be just a dog. It looked maybe more than what it was, and I know it's good for him. There. See, look, but can Carla it keep it up? Them. I guess I am. There. Yeah, I guess I'll be alpha dog. So did Carla keep it up? Is she still the alpha dog? Well, it's been more than two weeks, and we are going back to her house. Is Kirby still aggressive? Let's go find out. Oh, I hear barking. Kirby didn't do so well with the door. Carla admits that needs more work. It was hard. It's, it's a lot, and Kirby's great. Kirby's doing really, really, really well. But it's a lot of vigilance. You have to sort of stay with him all the time, and he's not entirely happy. Carla says Kirby is a calmer dog. And making him submit is much easier now. There you go, honey. And even her two-year-old daughter is learning to be the alpha dog. It's not a behavior modification approach. It's very clearly about the organic, wild, pack hierarchy. <clears throat> and I think if they already know that and it's just reminding them, then it makes perfect sense. Good job.